Welcome back, everyone, to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, we're continuing on as the Russian Empire, and it is 1872, about June 10th. But currently, we've we're done a few focuses off screen. And let's see, where are we at? Where are we at? So we've done a lot of this stuff. So, you know, railways in the Volga region. Um, we utilize abandoned land, which I think we also read about yesterday as well. We've already done railways in the Urals. So I'm pretty sure I read this one, but even though the lands that lay to the east of the Ural Mountains may seem like a wasteland, they are in fact a region wealthy in resources. But building a railway network in the area will be able to easily transport these goods and thus both strengthen the local economy. We've done improved mining techniques. The West seems to have developed new mining techniques. We need them here to make our own mining industry more effective and competitive, which is good. And I've actually already done factories in Saritsyn. Sartsen is an important river port and a commercial center, but supporting its development will strengthen our control over the southern borders of the empire. So we have to build an, one civilian factory in Sartsen, and we're currently finishing up. Facilitate resource transfer. An adequate transport system is necessary to transfer resources from the inland to the ports where merchants can sell our goods to the foreign markets, which is pretty good to get done. And we're done with that. So up next is support the coal mining industry or invest in the logging industry. Let's do logging. As the cities and villages grow and expand, one basic resource is always needed, that is wood. Most of Russia is covered by massive forests, and we'll have to make use of that. Which is a good, good thing. So we need 1880s protected cruiser hulls for the Alexander class. we got quite a few comments to go through. Um, yeah, and just to talk about a few things. So, let's see. Someone recommends we annex Poland. I'm not sure we can do that. Um, and, of course, the Finns still want to have more autonomy. So, uh, okay, maybe we'll see. We'll definitely see what we can do. 1880s cruiser hulls. So let's come down here. Corvettes, ironclads, destroyers, torpedo boats. Cruisers are over here. Protected cruisers. Oh, 1880. Late ironclads. We need ironclads to do this. But to get to ironclads, we need steam-driven single-screw propellers, which we're already working on. So we can't quite do that yet, but we're getting there. And you know what? Go ahead and do this one, too, because we can. We have enough naval speed for that. So, uh, so we'll see about Poland. Actually, with the Finns, I'm not sure if we can do anything with them. Maybe we can start a lend lease, but we don't we don't have that much equipment at all. So maybe they want 400 board guns, maybe lower their autonomy a little bit. Will that do anything? We won't we don't have that many board guns, but we we want to use howitzers anyway, so whatever. So we're still trying to build up the rail in Ufa, Orenburg, and a factory in Sardetsen. So here we go. Ufa Orenburg Sardetsen. And we'll just keep building. Just keep building, building, building. Recommend, someone recommends I do or play as France in this mod. Alaska can be apparently stolen by the U United States due to a bug in the game, so you got to be aware of that, apparently. So that'll be good. Um, yeah, there's still a core of us, so that's pretty good. Uh, not too many people live here that are Russian, but that's okay. And most of them are shamanists. 50,000 people. 50,000 people, okay, not bad. Let's see, someone recommends I do more army and naval infrastructure funding. We'll probably get there in this episode just because... I'm really trying to push ahead with more consumer goods factories. And yes, we are still on war economy just for now, just because I want to be able to push this faster, faster, faster to construct more stuff, which someone recommend we stop doing, but actually we might just because it costs a lot of political power. And we're actually losing legislative power right now, which is not very good. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Excellent healthcare hurts us. Well, hurts us and gives. Of course, going to war economy hurts our legislative power gain, so invest in the logging industry. Follow up with support the coal mining industry. Coal is the fuel of today's industry. If we wish to become as wealthy and industrialized as the West, we must simply extract more of it. Which is good. Uh, did we get something done here? Something just happened here. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, well. And let's see. Someone recommends we secularize the empire. Even though some other people said we should say orthodoxy. So, huh. Alright. Yeah, and we will demilitarize. And now we're getting some political power back. Steam-driven single-screw propellers are nice. Uh, we can actually get efficient steam propellers. It's only 75 days. We got enough naval XP for that. Might as well do that. Why not? Why not? And what else do we have here? Wood extraction. What we do have here is coffee, though, which is very nice. Uh, let's see. I just give it some more time. That stuff will come along. We could get some more political legitimacy, but we're already, we already are at equilibrium already, so whatever. And last time we did, decided to avoid coalitions. Uh, so secularization. Where is that? Religious stuff. I guess, oh, on the crow? Goodbye, crow. Yeah, I guess we could. Oh, that does hurt legislative power. When we, move, we will become a secular nation. Now, does, I'm thinking that when this finishes, we will go from state religion to... Uh, what is that? See, that's basic human rights. State religion to what? S just secularized society, probably. Yeah, state religion. 
the secular state. So I think that's where we go, where we end up going. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Ooh, railroad exp oh, we finally got rid of railroad expansion, which hurts our ability to produce infrastructure as fast. So we lost some 12% infrastructure speed. We might have gotten some more consumer goods back, actually, though. So Hey, we finished another infrastructure in Ufa. Nice, 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 nice. And, yep, all we need is orange brick, which is great. Which I remember where it is somewhat because of TNO. Thank you, TNO. Learning my Russian geography. Up next, let's see. Keep getting that big battleship of the Dreadnoughts with the Imperator Alexander class. So, like we said, we got to get the 1880s protected class boat. We'll get there eventually. Industrialize the Empire. The Russian Empire can now be considered a partly industrialized country. And while this is a great success, we still have a lot of work ahead of us. So, yeah, not bad. Process engineering, mechanical engineering, socioeconomic and humanities stuff. Uh, more stability, which would be very, very nice. And what else do we have there? Engineer companies. That would be really good to have on our soldiers. Coal extraction. Band and land. That's nice and all, but... Let's keep producing. So we got that. We got engineers, which I really, really, really want to throw on our divisions. I'd love to get Gatling guns and better uniforms. Might as well get more better uniforms. Even if we can't produce better uniforms yet, that's still okay to get just because... Well, we still use them and get more defense anyways. Uh, someone recommends we go get freedom of assembly allowed because we allow non-socialist trade unions. Actually, did that help out at all? 1363, huh? It did help out a little bit, but... hmm. Simple floating contact mine. All right, let's see. Is there anything else around here we can do? I don't think there is. No, there's nothing yet. Aviation, there's nothing under special research either. So we have all this up unlocked too. Air experience gain, air accidents chance. Electronics or electrics. Nope. And biochemistry, just in case. Nope, that's we're still, like until 1875. We can't really do too much there, yeah. Until 1875, so we'll just wait then. Until then to get this stuff done. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Dreams of Flight. Does any of these give you more daily air XP? That'd be kind of nice. That, yeah, technically, well, the one at the end. Oh, flight technology, though. We can't do that one because we need balloon design. So, eh, we'll do that one because we can. Why not? That's going to take a long time, but whatever. Allow freedom of assembly. So, we have non socialist trade. Oh, we do have freedom of assembly, non socialist allowed. But we lose legislative power. I don't, I can't really afford to lose any more legislative power yet. So, we'll wait. Trade unions, general committees, we have a jury court, which is good. We do need to get a constitution soon enough. It is 72, but I want to make sure we do all the reforms that we want to do, which we've already done most of the reforms anyways, but we'll do the naval infrastructure stuff soon enough. Mm, I don't want to lose any more consumer goods. I just can't imagine losing more consumer goods right now. I want to get more industry done first before we do that. Standardized revolvers are nice. I would like to get this too. Uh, get some more recon though, especially for a heavy cavalry. Nice. Pavel, like normal. Nothing really here, but okay. At least we're finally getting rid of our deficits. Like we said, house is looking great. Uniforms are finally looking good as well, so not bad. Ah, uh, Von Bismarck. Oh, who's that? Huh. Futa Toro. All right, cool. Now we're getting 0. 0.6 every day. Yep, 0. 0.6. After we industrialize the empire, we'll have the Trans-Siberian Railway. It's time for the construction of the world's largest railway to begin, spanning from Moscow to the Far East. Not only will it be a major achievement of ours, but it will also allow us to have greater influence over Japan and China. So, th 10 years to build one infrastructure level in Moscow, this place, that place, and that place. In Omsk. Oh, Omsk. Alright, so we got that one stuff done. Let's go early holes, because we need to get some cruisers. Nice. Omsk is Siberia, Kemerovo. Was it further east? Yeah, there it is, yeah. Or what? Yeah, west, west, further west. Yeah, I know my directions. I totally know my directions. And they're still fighting the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. Holy cow. So I'll be honest here, I don't think I don't know if there's another tree here to play with. I don't think there is. So we'll do this as much as we can with this one. But there's really not much left here for us to do here for the tree, so. Uh, I'm not really sure if we're going to do anything else for this campaign, just because there's really not much left. I hope there's another focus tree, especially after the Trans-Siberian Railway, but I kind of doubt it, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but someone also recommended that we finish more railways, actually do industrialization, and beware of the Turks. The Turks might be getting close to us in this episode, so you never know. Even though we can't support that much um, infrastructure down there, that many divisions, so. Cool. 
and anything else transferring real quick. We we ran out of a lot of you know spirits. We had quite a, quite a few national spirits already, but now we don't have any, which kind of sucks. Uh, we have a slight bit of colonial detrimental impact. All right, we have we have been avoiding coalitions, which is fine. And then we have how do we get rid of disorganized military high command for the army? I thought that by going down this way we would, but. I guess not. Outdated military thought. But this is just disorganized. It's not outdated, it's just disorganized. Oh, maybe it's outdated. Hmm. Uh, let's see, 72. I guess we could do more flight stuff. Anything for artillery? Oh, that's way too ahead of time. Army doctrine. Someone did say the traditional army does suck, so... I mean, I didn't know that, but we're going to keep going down that way for now. Even though there's not really much we can do about that. So, oh well. Victorian Navy, I, I guess, since we we might have to fight the Japanese, too. Nice. Even better uniforms make our guys just slightly stronger. We're looking a little bit on guns, too. That's not too bad. And it'll be done within three weeks. God, I hope I can colonize. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we can do about the fence. Hopefully they don't rebel and let become free. That would, that, would, that would really be bad. Uh, how are you guys doing? You are all re reinforcing. Oh! Yeah, guys, just go there then. There you go. Go and train too. You guys might as well keep training for now, I suppose. Not really sure what else you're going to do over there. Just don't get locked into Kamchatka. That'd be really bad. And then you have to come over to the WRF and liberate yourselves. Hey, we've got the infrastructure done. Look at that. Nice. Cavalry integration, please. Thank you. Nothing about that. I really care about. Um, so we're running out of things to build here, then. Tanks and armor. We don't really have that many tanks or armor anyways. Organization loss when moving. That'd be okay. Yeah. That'd be okay to do. Yeah, I'm not going to use any of this stuff yet. Or this stuff. Even though we could probably use some of that. So let's see. Fortify. Sevastopol's Harbor. Naval Base. Crimea. Meh. Land fortifications, ghost fortifications might be good to use, but still, at the same time, do we really want to do that now? Maybe, maybe not. So, wasn't there a war between us and the Turks in 1873, if I remember correctly? There might be. Ooh, that means we need to increase infrastructure down here, because it's so bad. But if they start stacking a lot more infrastructure, or more infrastructure, more divisions, then they're going to suffer a lot of attrition as well. So, we're going to have to wait and see. Oh, how was the speech? Oh, the Proposal 1873 Agreement. An envoy from the UK has arrived bearing an agreement over Central Asia. The agreement expands the Russian Empire sphere over Kiva and the Turkmen and tribes in the UK spheres over Afghanistan. Disagree? We get a prestige, more legislative power? Oh yeah, we did have the great game stuff. Sure. Hmm. I don't think they're supposed to get Afghanistan. Um... Up, oh, sure. Gee. Can you really afford to do that while you're at war with the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom? Okay, whatever. Great game. We'll see what happens. Oh, begin the oh, begin the invasion. Sweet. Expedition. Oh, I don't know. We could actually have more stuff we could do. I kind of figured we would since we're looking pretty small here, but. <clears throat> After a great success in Bukhara and Kokolan, perhaps it's time to strike against the last surviving Central Asian Khanate, Kiva. On the other hand, securing an alliance with them will finally bring stability to the region, which has been in turmoil for the last 50 years. Nice. A Kievan war. The cavalry sent to scout the lands have returned with bad news. The Kievans are marching in mass towards our outposts, and many of our serfs in the border have moved to help their neighbors against their own leaders. They're just a bunch of peas peasant armies. Uh, give it a little more... Time to so they can move around a bit better than that. Gyakotep? Oh, that's to be 1879. Of Merv? 1884. Representative of Afghanistan. Um, okay. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Now, they literally lost that one division of 700 guys in it. Wait. Russian Alaska, okay. I was like, Russian Africa? That'd be kind of cool. And the Trans-Siberian Railway. Very nice. So, we're done with industrialization. I guess we have the Slavic Brotherhood, though. Nice. Would you guys like to continue moving in, or are we just going to stand here and look pretty? 
Or just stand here, because these guys probably aren't too pretty. Well, actually, they've got quite a bit of influence in there. Thank you. I'll take your wood. Not bad. I wonder if we can take these guys out now, though. Good job, guys. Early ironclads. Happy 1873, everyone. Let's get some ironclad holes. Very good. Anything else around here? No, not yet. So, for this one, we... Oh, God. Civilian industry. Please, thank you. So, we're building that up. Opposition returns. Whatever right now. Don't really care about that. 7 out of 15. 15 out of 15. Just keep building a lot more industry for now. And so, Moscow needs at least 5 infrastructure. That's Moscow, right? Yeah. So, you know what? We can build up one there. Let's get one. Uh, you know, let's do Sartsen first. I'll do Sartsen. Oh, actually, that's that'll be done within like two, three months. This one will be done in about a year or so. So that's not bad. That's actually okay. Do we have anything else here? No, I guess we could do maybe another reform. Maybe, 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 maybe. Wait, I mean, the parliamentary suffrage. It's not bad. And someone did recommend because people are losing faith in the monarchy. Maybe we should get some more centrist, conservative, liberal support, so... Hmm. Let's see. What can we do here? Oh, well, Velocip paid. Bicycles? Bicycle battalions? Eh, that stuff is okay. Um, I wish we had more stuff to do here, kind of. Military vehicles? Yeah, that's nice. Recon, maybe? Maybe? Trade laws, tax rates, land property, military spendage. I, mean, I guess technically we could do that and go to 5% of the budget, but maybe let's wait for that. Education is currently on compulsory. Religion, theocratic state, yes, please. Ah, just going to do that, why not? Does it give us any more reforms? I mean, we still need constitution stuff, but we'll see. Stop promoting coalitions. Okay, so not much. Oh, I guess we invest if we really want to. Let's get up to at least get more influence than the Brits. Because even I don't think the Brits can really do too much. I still think they're out of manpower, aren't they? They're still they still have the rebellion in India. Oh, they got six to fifteen guys. So never mind. I would love to be able to send volunteers down here just to help them out. Just to help out the rebellion against the Brits. I would love that so much. Oh, hello. Bahadur Shah II, you're looking kind of cool. Look at that, the, the crown. Oh, yes. Can I send attaché? We support their enemies. Oh, oh, we already sent you guys an attaché, huh? Oh, I guess we did. That's cool. So we did the Slavic Brotherhood, and now we are done with the focus stream. So, <clears throat> well, I guess technically not, since we do, still need to do this class. Um, I'm not really sure if anything's going to really happen. I'm sure as soon as I fade in, fade out, like, we'll go to War of the Turks or something. So, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure how much more there is of this campaign if there's no focus tree. So, we'll see in just a little bit. Alright, everyone. So, it's January 11th, 1878. I've not done much off-screen uh, off uh, at all. Like, I've literally just been sitting here doing technology and building a, a bigger and bigger industry. Even though now we're making some military factories because we could re really use some. I've got some Gatling guns here just because I like Gatling guns. But, uh, yeah. Really nothing has happened, except, so, like, the Ottoman Empire went to war with Bulgaria, and took them out very quickly, but then they went to war with Serbia, and eventually I got a little event that did something, like, enforce the Serbs and the Ottomans to go to peace. So Serbia exists, but Bulgaria does not now. So we have the Balkan Alliance, huh? Legacy of the Serbian Uprisings. Wow, 50% attack bonus against country? Holy crap. That's, that's pretty darn strong, but they say they're in the Balkan Alliance, but I guess the Balkan Alliance is dead. But we do have an Ottoman weakness, so get a guarantee of neutrality from Austria-Hungary, start the invasion, drop the idea. I kind of don't get the guarantee, but we'll see what happens. Um, maybe give us a little more, a few more days. I'm not really sure, just because it is 1878, and I've literally just been sitting here. No, I've been just doing text, and I've been kind of just doing other things off-screen, just because I got a little bored from this, like, not gonna lie. Let's get a guarantee of neutrality from the from those guys, I guess. Uh, but, I mean, building up stuff is pretty good, right? So, 15, 15, 8, not bad, and we're still on civilian economy, so... Uh, Austria, Austria agrees to the offer. Create Russian allies. We go to war with the Ottoman Empire. 
Uh, the Romanian United Principalities gets the event. The Russians offer independence for aid. So, the Russo-Turkish War. Uh, I guess it's time to go to war, then. Russia declared war against Turkey in the name of the interests of humanity. Okay, the Balkans burn. Kind of doubt these guys can do that well, but I did give them artillery support. So, we'll see what happens. No guarantees, obviously, but make sure we win over there. Uh, Poland? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, guys, you want to help out, too, maybe? You might probably actually will lose. That sucks. Oh, well, well, we killed off the division there. That's not bad. Uh, if you guys can move into there and then take these guys out that way, that'd be really good to cut them off. Um, not bad. I mean, obviously, fighting over rivers just really just got awful. So, we'll see what we can do. All right, not bad. We're starting to slowly move out. I think one good thing to do is move be... Uh, I want to move the horses, but supply is going to be such a bad issue here. I'm not sure it's going to be really worth the opposition returns. At least we're in some sort of conflict. At least we're in some sort of conflict right now. Ooh, you know what? They're not going to be able to get there in time to cut them off. So you guys hold on. Just come down this way. There you go. All right, not bad. Uh, that'd be pretty hard to take out, too. So give it some time. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ooh, you guys. Hope out here, too. So we're fighting all these guys. Kuwait. Huh. We've cut off 11,000. We've lost 11,000, so that's not good. Of course, we are fighting over river for the most part. So, yeah, not great. Overall, just have everyone else hold. Let them get their guys over here as well. We've lost 14,000. They've lost 14,000. Not bad. Um, over here, they're really taking these guys out very quickly. Okay, if that's the case, I'm pulling these guys down then. And we're going to go steamrolling into the Ottomans that way. I was focusing so much on this side. Oh, my goodness. Um, there's really no good place to attack. This is really not good because supply is such an issue. So helping out the Romanians is going to be the most key important issue here. And the Serbs are going to capitulate, probably, too, but... Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to capitulate. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Infrastructure development, great. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Very good. Yeah, no, they, these guys are probably going to end up dying here. Hope they attack us through here. So there goes Serbia. Goodbye, Serbia. We should do relatively okay here, though, right? Right. We've lost 20,000 versus 34,000. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Could be better, could be worse. And, but at least we've got some sort of conflict. My goodness, I was waiting for such the longest time. Waiting for something here to happen. Yeah, don't... Okay, they left. All right. Hope it's going to give us, our guys, some more strength and attack. And we lost 27,000 versus 50,000. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, they're actually... Oh, what are they up to? You guys go right there. Put them in their place. You guys keep helping them out, too. Every gonna took a lone commander died. That's fine, whatever. Hold. Hold. This is pretty risky. I guess we have to go back then. Alright, whatever. Oh, or not. Three more divisions go bye bye. If you guys would like to stop the attack, so be it. So, so. Oh crap. Supply is pretty darn bad, so send half you guys over here then. God, yeah, that's my biggest issue with this mod. Not even the graphical glitches, because there are some. It's supply. It's so bad. It's so bad in this mod. It's not even funny. Like, I get, like, these guys take a lot of supply up, but still. That's ridiculous. It shouldn't be as bad as Old World Blues. It's, it's worse than Old World Blues. It's definitely worse than Old World Blues. Definitely, definitely, definitely 100% worse. They actually don't have that much manpower, so we could just theoretically just kill off our own manpower and kill off their own manpower. So, we could try that. Recon Blues. Also, technology, I mean, technologically wise, there's not a lot we could do. I'm mean, sure we can get some of this stuff for now, but like ultimately, there's not a whole lot we can do for technology. Yeah, come on, Ottomans. Keep trying it. You're almost out of manpower. And once they're out, we're going to go steamrolling in, hopefully. Um, all right. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. And they've taken 140,000 casualties. They're probably going to try to encircle us. But they're out of manpower. Okay, so at this point, cut that down. 
As much as I want to make a bigger army, I just don't think there's a point to do it, actually. Uh, give me you, you. I know I shouldn't do these divisions, but whatever. We could use the guns. We really could use our guns right now. So, and I'll get rid of supply issues. We can always make more divisions anyway, so. My gosh. Just come on. They're really not that difficult to kill off. And again, we did choose a bad land doctrine, so what do you expect? But they should have no manpower, right? So, I'm not sure how they're doing this much damage at all. So, yeah. Focus on some battleships. Let's go for more infantry stuff for now. I'll get some more defense and soft attack. There you go. Yeah, you just keep moving on in, guys. They don't really want to do anything about that, so cut them off if you can. That'd be nice. Um, hmm. Six, oh, that's six divisions. That's quite a few divisions, man. Not going to lie. That's quite a bit. Yeah, they're literally just going to kill off their own divisions, which, I, which I'm kind of okay with, but still. Don't worry about attacking for now. They're literally attacking until they all die, which is kind of good for us. Quite good. It's good. You guys keep attacking, too. Doesn't even matter at this point. All right, so they're pretty much dead. So throw everyone back on the line here. Supply's going to be really bad. Doesn't matter. They can't reinforce their lines anyways. Force it, maybe. Force it? Force it. They can force us to die, force them to die. Either one. Doesn't matter. Because they cannot get any more manpower back. I actually will regret going to war with the Russians. They will absolutely 100% regret it. Manpower is just but the number. We, we could also raise the conscription level too, so... Are they doing last stand here or something? They, have, they I think they are. Uh, maybe not, but it, just for some reason they were not dying, which didn't make any sense. But if you guys slip over there, you might actually be able to do some good stuff. Or not. There's not that many guys over there. Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, we got encircled. God dang it. Alright, so they should have no manpower, right? They should have no manpower. They've up to 44 divisions. How do they encircle them? They literally have no more strength. Are these guys cheating? Like... I don't, you know, this, the conflict in this mod, the war mechanics, just not very good. Not very great. Definitely could use some improvement, which I'm sure there will be some improvement, but my goodness. Get more defense, please. Thank you. Come on, man. Just die. You have no manpower left. How are you able to put up a defense? That makes no sense. In what world, when you have no manpower, can you actually muster defense? Doesn't make any sense. Look at that. That's crap. That's complete crap. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't know, man. I, the, the conflict just... It sucks in this, this mod. It just sucks. I guess we get some uniforms from our ally, I guess. A puppet. Seriously? Look at this. This is so stupid. Four divisions that are very under strength. And they just resist the entire attack. <sighs> Actually, give me you guys. Stop training. I'll go do that. Get some more planning done. You look at all this crap supply. Are you kidding me? Like, supply... It's, it's so bad you have to do your own divisions. 16... I mean, that's so stupid. You know what? Just retreat them. Just retreat. This is a waste of time. Complete waste of time. This turns me off from playing the mod completely with supply issues like this. It's so bad. And you can't even do anything about it. Which I think is probably one of the worst mistakes about this mod. There's just nothing you can do. I literally sat here for an hour just letting technology go by. Just letting it go by. Because there's nothing to do in this one. And let's see, did they get any more manpower back? No, and they, they can still just hold out. Like, it does not make a single lick of sense. How are they getting manpower back? Come on, move in.
Better ammo is always good. Uh, that's quite a bit, two at a time. It's 1878. Uh, nope. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Nothing really, there's nothing we can do. I mean, this is so dumb. They need to balance out technology more. Like, all these four things, once you get a certain point, like, you can't do any of them. Unless you want to do, have a heavy, heavy, heavy research penalty, which I just disagree with, man. I know it's supposed to be historical and stuff, but... Hmm. And supply is still bad. Come on. 33. I really doubt it. These guys aren't even that big. They're really not that big. 10, 20 combat width. <sighs> At least this should be a new supply area. There should be a new supply dump. Better supply, hopefully. Yeah, just infinite manpower, huh? Uh, can we see anything about their stockpile at all? They got way more guns than us. That's for sure. Let's take a look at this. And we can do this here. Kill them. Kill every single one of them. You should be do way more damage than that. Way, 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 way more damage. Send one, and then send all but one. There you go. That would be good to get more soldiers out of here. Uh, send all but one, two down here too. Why not? Keep spreading down so we can get to Adrianople, maybe. How's this looking over here? Mess? Those guys are still holding on. That's not too bad. This was just... This is so incredibly disappointing, though. I know it's mountains. I know we're supposed to be taking supply issues, or have supply issues, but... It's just annoying. It's just incredibly annoying. Uh, Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can research, because everything's just ahead of time. My god. Just go and do something else. Um, there's no one else we can really throw into there. Uh, I would like to attack here so we can start spreading out a little bit more. Uniforms are completely out of guns, which is not very good, but oh well. More telescope stuff. Better uniforms, which I'm not going to do yet. Come on, come on, kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. So this way I can get over here as well, just get over to this region, that'd be good. I kind of doubt we could take this tile, but we'll see. There are, there are two divisions, so... We gotta wait and see. Ooh. Could you guys get, you can get over there, which is good. Help them out. Defense is so broken on this. How are we... I don't understand this. How are we not starving for supplies? I I mean, supply use is 3.48. We have no way of getting more supplies, so something's a little suspicious there. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy having that. <laughs> but that seems pretty darn suspicious that we don't lose any supply while just sitting there. Well, apparently we take too much supply, period, so... I'm not really sure I'm understanding that. Okay, rotary systems. Um, I don't even care, just do that one. Alright, you wanted to die? Okay, good. Good for you. I did make some extra divisions, but no. There's no point even making having a bigger army. You can't field them in the field. So, 
Can't even field them, so there's no point to even have a bigger army. Good, kill every single one of them off. Hopefully they'll send convoys through Burke. What? Why, why, is it, why is it like this? Why are there so many thousands of t tiny little tiles here? Too many. Too many little tiles. What else are we making? We're making more horse lumber, which is nice. Uh, we have to get some bigger things here. Comet sighted. Don't really care. If you want to be by that, please go right ahead. Doesn't really matter at all. Hopefully they start attacking us here. Maybe, maybe not. Colonial settlements are nice. Constantinople would be nice to get. Uh, okay, colonial ports are good. Come on. Send supply through here. Do we still have that one division alive down there? No, it looks like they died. No, no, it's still there. Telescopic, telescopic sights. Um, ah, oh, that's a long time ahead. Damage control? Sure, why not? We got no, more than enough naval XP anyways. There we go. Some convoys sink those stupid Ottomans. Good. Help out, help out. Start pushing over. Good. There's no one there. Okay. Hits hull and detonation. Transport ships, might as well. And we have arrived. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to come over and beat the crap out of you. Because we can. Uh, they're not attacking at all. Okay, well, come back over, I guess. Uh, we'll go right there. 1v1, they should just die almost instantly. And they are dead. Quite literally dead. Completely. Cut them off. Even though we won't really be cutting them off. Where are you going, son? Where do you think you're going? You're going to die now. Constantinople lies open. That's good. And you guys commit suicide. There you go. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Siege artillery. Good. You guys go into. We're not gonna put up with these Ottomans anymore. Force them to die. Either you die or they die. No questions asked. Oh, we got them. That's nice. Victory in the Russo Turkish War. Peace with them. Remove Russian allies faction. No, I don't think so. I'm going to keep killing them until we can't, we can't kill them anymore. So, I want them to be devastatedly hit. Where they have no army left. We're going to go all the way, as hard as we possibly can. We've lost way too many men for this crap. Uh, hopefully we've killed like, at least 20 or 30, 40 divisions, maybe. Boost army morale? Meh, it's not really worth it. Anything else? Not too much, really. I have nothing I can really see that's really worth it. We're still building some more military factories, which is nice. Keep going, guys. Kill every single one of them. Oh, and we get some stuff from our allies, which is nice. Or a puppet, really. 25 divisions. Come on, come on. 360. Can we get to 360? Oh, we can't get to 360. That sucks. So, I think that was really just god-awful. That was really just a giant mess that I don't ever want to experience again, because... <sighs> supply in this mod needs to get fixed. I'm, I, I don't care what anyone says. I'm sorry, but it's just... It's not fun. It's not fun. With, uh... With this happening, so... Uh, but I think we end it here. It's slightly shorter than normal, but just because there's literally nothing going on. So I think we'll have maybe one more episode. I might show you where we're at in the next video, maybe, if anything else happens. I want to at least get that one focus done. So, I guess we we'll here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, and maybe we'll have another conflict. Maybe, maybe not. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.